<laughs> Maayong adlaw mga higala. We're gonna be, just to give you a clue, we're gonna be talking about this one. <laughs> like these, actually. So I have like a number of them. That one. So. And this is the biggest, like, swollen part. Okay. So in the Philippines, being bitten by animals, especially insects, is quite common, I should say, right? So, yeah, I myself have been bitten by mosquitoes, cockroaches, <laughs> rats, centipedes, as well as dogs. Three days ago, um, I was bitten by what, what I now know is called a blood sucker or a kissing bug. Something I actually didn't think existed in Cebu. <laughs> so there's like a study in early 90s by a Japanese firm to document uh, the existence of kissing bugs actually in the Philippines. And it was done in Tarlac and Quezon City. So it was mainly in Luzon. And it was proven that we do have um, the kissing bug in the Philippines, but not particularly in Cebu. So yeah, if you do your own research, the kissing bugs are uh, mostly known to come from like South America, uh, you know, in the America. So it's, that's one of the reasons why I don't think it's very common here. So funny story, Milcom, a friend and a colleague of mine, mine at work, <laughs> he actually mentioned this to me like a year or so ago. He, he stayed at my boarding house and he said that he was bitten by a, by a bloodsucker. And I was like, ah, sure. Not a bloodsucker sa tua. So, so yeah, I just thought it was like a bed bug. Bed bug, uh, kung sa bisaya pa kuting. So kuting. So I, I, I just brush it off and I said, nah, that's not gonna be true. I, I don't think we have that here. So up until, of course, uh, three days ago, I was peacefully sleeping uh, in one of the couches in my office. And then all of a sudden I had to be, I had to wake up because of this, thanks to a sudden urge to itch my arm. It was actually this side. So I woke up and was itching this like tremendously. And uh, yeah, I, w I woke up and then probably I, I went to my desk again, started working. And then for no reason, for no particular reason, I, I actually had to touch my nape or yeah, this part, tangkugo sa bisaya. And lo and behold, the kissing bug was there. It was like this big, one inch. And yeah, I was like frantically like calling Milcom and Tommy. Uh, and as you know, I wanted to ask them what this was. It was like, okay, murag talawan kami sana. I thought it was like a cockroach. Talawan mga kami mga flyers, mga flyers na talawan mga yun kami. So we thought that was that was one of them, but it was really really different. So it was actually the the kissing bug. And yeah, if you're gonna ask me how it actually stayed on my nape, or 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 this part of my neck without me noticing it uh, it's because this critter actually injects an aesthetic on its bite so you couldn't feel anything here actually you couldn't feel anything where where it was and unlike cockroaches it's not i don't know it moves very gently it's like an assassin uh so to speak so it's it doesn't have the like uh, ticklish feeling cockroaches have so yeah that was why it was just sucking on me while i was trying to work i'd like to talk to you about you know the effects or you know my overall experience with it and uh, and so you'd know if this happens to you or your your kids you'll have an idea that it could probably be 
uh, kissing bug. Okay, so for those who do not know what it looks like, it's gonna be, yeah, it, this is how it looks like. Okay, and it's one, imagine it would, it would it's like one inch uh, big. So yeah, that's how, how it looks like. So in my experience, after an hour, after an hour of uh, getting bitten, I felt like, like apart from the itchy, like the, the itchy part of course, I felt like my upper back, like here, and then upper back is here, and then both sides, and uh, like my, my ribs, or the back of my ribs, they felt like I lifted 50 kilos for the whole day. Ah, the muscle pain, it was just, I barely could move it, to be honest. Gabiha. Um, and to tell you honestly, um, my this part of my body, my upper back, isn't really, it's, it doesn't experience, or I don't feel uh, muscle pain on this, uh, on this part of my body, simply because of a regimen that I've developed over the years. Something that's I'm gonna that I'm gonna also share with you guys, okay? And yeah, that's what I felt after one hour, and then uh, after about two to three hours, I was already feeling feverish. So muro gidanggas, muro kailan tanon ba? And uh, yeah, because of that, when I got home, I just removed all my clothes and washed them, had them washed right away and I took a shower because uh, yeah, this this critter, if it laid egg on me or, no, not laid egg, yeah, or it could have laid egg on me or, you know, it pooped on me, that's that's also very dangerous because it's, it's poop actually could uh, carry a, a deadly disease like Chagas disease, I don't know, something like that, Chagas disease. And uh, yeah, I just had to make sure. And then I didn't sleep with my kids and uh, with, with uh, my wife. So yeah, I just stayed uh, on, on another room just to be sure. So after about four hours, I started feeling a tremendous stomachache. Like, oh, oh my goodness, it was, it was, it was just bad, it was bad. I felt like it was bad to the sense that it almost felt like I had an amoeba attack. So I also have amoeba. So yeah, it felt like that. And uh, yeah, I had to, I had to, you know, uh, poop. And uh, yeah, I had diarrhea after four hours. Thankfully, thankfully, it was only one episode because I was afraid it wouldn't stop. I was afraid it would be something that uh, I would need to actually, you know, prepare rehydration uh, tablets and whatnot. Or worse, go to the ER. Uh, like the, these are the worst times to go to the ER. Like you know, you don't you don't want to do that right now. With the cases rising up again and all that. So yeah, thankfully I was able to sleep after one episode of diarrhea, and the next day, my swelling on this part was gone. It was just like magic. I felt okay. No more. Uh, it didn't feel feverish. Uh, uh, muscle pains were gone, but then uh, yeah, I started getting this like itchy, swollen parts of my skin again. again. Different parts, listen. Different parts, like this one, this one. So it's like up until today. This is the third day actually. So these guys are still here for some reason. I don't know why. I don't know. Maybe my antibody is not fighting them well enough. Unlike the first day where it just magically disappeared or because I put alcohol in it. I don't know, but I, I also put alcohol in these guys. So. I don't know, I don't know what, uh, why these guys are back. So yeah, I just wanted to document it and uh, share with you guys. There's actually no Bisaya term for the blood sucker. So I search on it and uh, yeah, people don't know it's in Cebu. So Buna wala siguro Bisaya. So I'm gonna take this opportunity to actually dub this. Uh, it's, uh, you know, gonna coin a term for it in Bisaya. So after careful consideration, I would call this 
Vampira Bug. Okay, Vampira Bug. BB for short. So I think it's a very uh, fitting, fitting name for it because one, it sucks blood, of course, and it's nocturnal. So the BE is siya mo attacky. So that's why I called it Vampira Bug. And uh, even the 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 allergic reactions. Oh well, yeah, you should search. You should search about it. 